so I don't feel very good. I'm just gonna relax today, but it's the day after Halloween, and I'm gonna try to find the kids' stash of candy. So I found Ashley's. Um, it was just sitting here in the entryway, and so hers is just right here. She hasn't learned that she needs to hide it, but um, let's go see where the other girls hid their, their stash. First we'll go look for Chelsea's. She often tries to hide it under her bed, so let's just see if that's where she actually put it. Oh, let's see here. No. I don't know where she has it. She keep it close under her bed. Let's see. Where'd she hide it? I don't know, she must have done a good job, so I'm gonna have to keep looking. It's not in her room. Where else would she have put it? Let's check out Kaylee and Abby, see where they put theirs. Okay, so I'm in Kaylee and Abby's room, and I don't know, maybe this is Abby's. Right here. I don't know. I'm surprised they're just leaving it out. And did Kaylee truly just leave it here? Holy crud. She just... She just left it hanging on the end of the bed. I guess our girls trust each other. <laughs> Everyone but Chelsea. Um, yeah, that's odd. I don't know. I thought they would have, you know, squirreled it away somewhere and nobody could get it. But um, I guess that's good. That means that they trust each other not to mess with each other's candy. Or they have so much that they don't even worry about it because, yeah, oh, but I love it when the girls leave yogurt with granola turned into concrete sitting in their room. Anyways, I thought it would be a hard hunt for their candy, but they just left it sitting out. So I'm going to go sit on the couch and try to get feeling better. <laughs> All right, you guys, just filmed a video for Christmas. <laughs> yes, we're moving to Christmas. So I think it will probably go up before this one. So yeah, I will have it go up the day after Halloween. So when you see that one, just know that yes, I'm skipping straight to Christmas. Um, I took the kids to the bus this morning. Jason tried to find the Halloween candy. I filmed this video for Christmas and we've taken down Halloween. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with Halloween. I don't need to decorate for um, Thanksgiving. And I'm just seeing one more thing. A little string of lights is kind of attached here. So I gotta get that taken off. That one is that. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about Christmas because um, it's, it's fun. Once I kind of feel that Christmas mode, um, then I'm excited about it. I kind of dread it for a few weeks, right at the beginning of fall, end of summer, because, you know, it's kind of the start of chaos more than anything. And I kind of dread that. And I dread some of the work of setting up Christmas, that kind of thing. But I am excited to get all of this stuff packed away. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that this afternoon. But Mr. Sicky over here on the couch, he has a day off work and he wants to go to Costco with me, but I'm worried that he doesn't have much energy. So I'm going to hurry and go to Costco with him, even though I have all that to put away and editing to do for that Christmas video that I just edit or that I just filmed as well as I know there's something else I wanted to do today. Now I can't remember. 
It's the day after Halloween. I like to clean up after a holiday. That kind of idea. My kids are exhausted. Ashley, I didn't film the kids this morning because they got up late and Ashley cried her way to the bus stop. Cried getting on the bus. And, oh, by the way, Jace, we need to find the bus driver. I really like their bus driver. We're slowly getting to know him. He's the new bus driver for us. And he kind of likes chatting with his moms when, you know, all the kids are kind of filing out of the bus. And he's like, um, where's my Snickers? <laughs> he's like, where's my stash, people? I take your kids to school and you don't bring me a stash. So all of us moms said that we would gather some of our kids' candy. I think I had a baggie. Oh, I threw it away. So I'm gonna take a little, all of us said that we would get a little stash of candy from our kids' bag and we would take it to him at the bus stop to, this afternoon when we go pick him up and, you know, kind of show him our appreciation. So, and the rookies left their candy out. They're gonna figure out one of, one of these days not to leave their candy out. Are you ready to go, Jace? I'm gonna go change my pants. <laughs> okay, we'll let him change his pants and then we're gonna go to Costco. Do you wanna go to Target and get those decorations or not today? We'll see what energy I've got. We probably won't. So, you gotta get up if you're gonna go with me. He's still sitting there. <laughs> He's got his TV on, his warm blanket, and the fireplace. It's called being sick. Honey. It's called being sick, and I know, but I yeah. thought you wanted to go with me. I don't mind going alone. You get to stay in bed all morning while, you know. You've got to be kidding me. When your husband gets the kids ready when you're sick. Because when was the last time that happened? Church. Church. Dude, I wake up, you have a bad night, and I wake up and get the kids ready. He doesn't get them ready, he makes a peanut butter sandwich. And yes, it's helpful. <laughs> oh my gosh, he has a very small memory. He literally wakes up and makes a peanut butter sandwich and then he goes to work. He does help, I'm not saying he doesn't. But the last time I was sick was when my stomach and my back were hurting and it was a church day. And yes, that's a lot of work to get the kids ready for school, but there's no lunches to make and backpacks to fill and you know, papers to sign, all that kind of stuff to get ready for school. It's a little bit different, so. Sicky's gonna change his clothes and then we're gonna go to Costco. Okay, so we're done at Costco. I'll show you later what we got, nothing fancy. Jason got some stuff for Christmas. Got us in the Christmas mood. So we came to Michael's and we've got 50% off Christmas. Plus he has this coupon, 25% off sale items, entire purchase. <gasps> Jason, this doesn't start till Sunday. What? Oh, that is a bummer. Oh. This one is now, that's a bummer. But still, 50% off Christmas is a good deal. You guys, Michaels has their garland game on. Check out these cute little mitten ones. And then look at this one. I mean, I'm loving this one. I really like that one. All right, so. I should take him to go to Michael's when he's uh, buying uh, like store decor more often because we we killed it you guys we got so much good stuff and we realized that that coupon that he had isn't valid until Sunday so I can't use it until Monday because I don't shop on Sundays and it excluded the Christmas trees so that was unfortunate so we went ahead and got the Christmas tree <laughs> and <laughs> All the other stuff that I got was on a 50% off Christmas sale, and so that sale ends tomorrow. So again, my coupon, the 25% off, wouldn't be valid on any of that stuff, so we went ahead and got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna show you when we get home, because I, I literally can't even, like this stuff here in the car isn't even half of it. We got the trunk kind of filled with all the groceries and that stuff now. So I'll show you when we get home, because I always look at the previous Maybe you could come Season up and or film, holiday. film the store displays when we get them done. I can. If you'll let me have more of a say in how they're done. <laughs> this is our argument. We've had this argument for 15 years. I use your input. You're mm. just not around to do anything about it. So we I would love to come up and do it. But I don't 
as long as you could get along with the ladies there. That I would just do it. You have to just let me have control. Well, of see, it. that's the problem. The other I know. ladies are doing stuff too, and if you just come I in, know, and, but they're not as good at it as I am. We, when we put effort into it, I'll admit we don't often yes. put a lot of effort into it. And so when I we put do, full, we do good. Okay. It's just we don't always. Right. And that's why I don't always want to help. Because it's quite when an it's, effort. Yes, it's a lot of effort to decorate a whole house and make it look pretty like well, I make it. And now have customers come and interrupt you all the time. Well, I would just come up and do it so that you wouldn't have to worry about stopping help to help customers. Okay, anyway, uh, I digress. But um, we are gonna go get a cold beverage. He wants a smoothie for his throat. I actually kind of think you have strep throat. Does your throat hurt? Uh, right now? Yeah. A little bit, not a whole lot. All right, then I don't think it is. It hurt like a lot this morning. Yeah, that's when I was, oh, maybe you have strep throat. But it hurts all the time. Like, it doesn't go away. Uh, no, it's let up. So I think it's just the cold. No, I just have a headache and I'm tired and I'm hungry. And he's grumpy. Get you a smoothie, get you home. Then you can make me lunch. <laughs> All right, so we've got most of our stuff from Costco put away. Chips. We got two things of the Ritz crackers because they were on a rebate. So they were like $6 a box instead of like nine, I think. I got a rotisserie chicken. I actually made a meal plan. Hawaiian chicken, chicken noodle soup, chicken taquitos I'm gonna put in the freezer. So I pull all the meat off and then I can make my broth um, with the bones. And then I'm going to use that broth right away in the Hawaiian chicken. Um, and then I got yogurt, bananas. So let me show you what else we got at Michael's. And then Jason got one decoration at Costco. I think he got that one at Costco. So he got this one at Costco. It was like 37 It's a long garland. We actually have one we've got years and years ago that I don't use here at home anymore. So he got the identical one to have two of them at the store. And then he also got this little picture frame chalkboard sign I know I could make one for him but this one was only five dollars he is just gonna make this um, say different things on display we own a shoe store in case you're new and then Abby said she wanted a little Christmas tree for her bedroom and they these ones are on sale they're normally sixty dollars at Michael's and they were on sale for 20 and they're already pre-lit so pretty good deal and then Jason got this like it's like this long banner sign. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. So it's really long, but it's kind of got that wire edge so you can kind of bend it and it'll stay, that kind of thing. It goes clear down, see the end of it down there. And then this is really kind of a studio of the deal. This is actually from Costco. He got me tape for Christmas. Okay, so these little tobacco baskets, look at this. So they're normally $7 a basket, and if you use your 40% off coupon, that's a pretty good deal. But these were 80% off. So I got these for $1.40 each. And these are total basket, like, fillers for shelves and decorations. And then we got these lanterns. I got the two big ones. I'm going to put them up on the mantle. Because, you guys, this is, like, Christmas, or, like, they have this under their, like, fall decor, right? They're normally $30. I can't see it. Can you see that? So they're normally $30, but they were 80% off. So I got this whole lantern for $6 a piece. These guys were $24 a piece. So we got these ones for $5. Jason's going to take these ones up to our store and use those ones up there. But I'm going to use these guys here. So cute, huh? So I've literally been eyeing these wooden lanterns for a re really long time at Michael's. They always have something like this. But I don't want to spend $30 or even $15 if I have a 50% off coupon. So I'm super excited. I think I need to just kind of scoot everything back on the shelf here. Let me show you what it looks like. But see, I don't know. I don't need this here anymore. I just needed something taller. See? So I can put the other one to balance out the other side. And you work in odd numbers. So I've got three items here. I think I need to scoot everything back. So anyway, scoot this stuff back without having it fall over. And then try 
turn this guy around. See how that looks? I gotta balance it out. It doesn't quite work. And this sign doesn't need to stay because it's pumpkin. And Halloween, I just haven't taken it down because I like the tallness of it. Sometimes, if I've been smart when I make things, nope, I wasn't smart. I didn't paint the back side of this. But you can just use that as a filler in the meantime. But so paint the back side of your projects, like this one right here. On the other side of that is a manger scene. <laughs> so for Christmas. So anyway, I'll kind of figure that out later. All right, so I forgot two more little ones. I got these little cranberry garlands. These were again 50% off the Christmas decorations. So they were $6 a pack. I got two of them. I have another garland that I've used on my tree. It's like a, it's a tinsel. Remember, remember when we had tinsel garlands? Something I grew up having. And I have like two short pieces of tinsel and I just kind of string it part way around my tree and make it work. Because I like having that extra pop of red. I wanted to get those cranberry garlands for a long time. And they were on a good deal. So anyway, now it's lunchtime and eventually I'm gonna have to deal with all of this Halloween <laughs> stuff here on the counter. I kinda don't wanna deal with it right now, but. I love how you put it in. I gotta deal with all this. I didn't include you in that. Cause he it won't. It was just the camera angle you just included. I gotta deal with all this and I happen to be in the shop. You happen to be in the shop, but I- I know was, it's a joke and I'm laughing. I was literally just, you wouldn't put it all away. It just <laughs> I'm talking about me being something you have to deal with. Oh, well, you are something I have to deal with. He's hungry. Make yourself a ham sandwich cuz you're Cuz <laughs> I'm sick. He's sick. He's I'm, hungry. I'm hungry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm you're sick. And my wife just says make a sandwich. He's sick. He's hungry. He's tired. And he wanted to talk politics on the way home and I was like, "Nope." You brought it up. I brought it up and I realized really quick. We we have <laughs> like exact matches on political views, like our issues. But he just was not in the right state of mind to have a conversation. I'm trying to open the butter one handed. Okay, we're gonna get lunch and we still have two hours, three hours before the kids get home, which is nice. And it's Friday, so kind of more of a laid back atmosphere, but our kids are gonna be exhausted. Kaylee's yeah. already texted me telling me that she's exhausted. See, I bet that's her again. What do you want to bet? I'm really tired, mom. Where's my purse? I want to just film this, just in case it is her. Can go in the fridge? Yeah, the chicken can go in the fridge. Um, she's just gonna complain. Nope, it wasn't her. But she is very tired. And I don't even know if I'm gonna do a movie night. We did pizza night last night. That's just so to get them to bed I think we just need to get them to bed. Ooh, are you making like, ooh. We should have gotten the Hawaiian rolls. Ooh, yeah. Darn it. That would have been good. I'll get you. <laughs> you get all my best one-liners. I, I know, I cut off his one-liners and I cut him off, but he cuts me off too. It's just, you don't know someone else's thoughts. How about you use paper plates? If you love me, you would know my thoughts. How about we use paper plates? If you knew my thoughts, you would know that I wanted to use paper plates. You guys, this is what life is when we're all alone. Actually, it's all the time. <laughs> we don't care if there's kids around. They know our banter. They still love us somehow. What are you doing? <laughs> I love you, Rose. We're back. So, one thing that we unloaded, we did everything. I was waiting for Dana to realize, but... Uh... You had them smart. <laughs> Yeah, I got those out and hit those babies. So. And I'm not telling you where the other two are. No. I'm sick. You don't want to kiss me. Mm -mm. <laughs> Jason fell asleep. Huh? Yeah, but I can't see you. Can you come down here? Oh, yeah. yeah, we got something for you. What? Oh, the tree. Yeah, they had them on sale. This is a $60 tree we got for 20 bucks. 
Cool. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And it has white lights on it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? If you want to add colored lights on to it, you can, but I figured if we got colored and you didn't want colored, then we can't fix that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, do you like your tree, Abby? Why does it smell like someone farted in the fridge and I closed it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why it smells like someone farted in the fridge. Ugh. My goodness sakes, someone's snarky. Well, it doesn't smell. I mean, it does smell. Alright, so Abby's going to a community dance tonight. It's more of just a party um, with her friends. So I've got to take her in like just under an hour. And then Ashley and Chelsea will be home. I'm really actually surprised that Ashley made it through the whole day of school. Um, I'm going to make sure that girl is in bed by 7 p.m. tonight. I don't want to crab a kid home tomorrow on Saturday when it's chore day and get ready for Sunday and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to crab a kid. <laughs> she could stay up late tonight and sleep in tomorrow, but she would still be crabby because she's not caught up. So I'm still sitting here editing. I'm editing our Halloween video. I'm really caught up and it's nice. Um, but I'm really excited to edit the Christmas video. My Christmas haul. Our current day video today. Jason and I went Christmas shopping. You saw that. I, I literally have like so many ideas of what I want to do for Christmas and all the DIY projects. Like these. I'm just really excited. I actually you saw that I made a couple Christmas decorations when I was prepping for an activity for church and we never ended up doing that activity. So I've got some already made, um, but the tutorials for those fell apart. <laughs> they didn't work. Um, but I have lots more that I want to do. So I don't know. I'm getting in the holiday spirit, even though we don't really, our winter is like rain and it starts next week. So, you know, we don't get like a, a snow feel around here for Christmas. We do once a year. We'll get it right around Christmas time. They say it's gonna be a worse winter this year than it has been in a long time, so we'll see how that, you know. That could just mean every day of rain, but that they tend to mean that there's extra snow, more than one just one event of snow is usually what they mean by a worse winter, so. Guess who still hasn't put away the Halloween decorations, and guess who's still sick? <laughs> and guess who's still eating candy? No, we're still eating. That tissue on the couch is like oh. nasty. <laughs> That's disgusting. He's literally been here all day. Are you um, hungry, Ashley? Yeah. What are we watching? Oh, now we're on to Zootopia. Yeah, if we get Disney, no, we're if we not. Get Disney Plus and drop Prime, we get so many cool movies. National Geographic. I'm not dropping Prime. Ah, uh, after Christmas? No. You don't need Prime. This guy is not going to convince me to lose my Amazon Prime. Yes, some of the movies on Amazon Prime are like, eh, but my shipping on Amazon Prime <laughs> is well worth. We don't order enough. I order enough. I'm not going to have this argument for, with him. It never comes in a day. Okay, I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm going to try and figure out dinner. I love when kids put empty glasses back in the fridge. Because that makes a whole lot of sense. I want to be done for the day, but it's only 6 o'clock. <laughs> Are you trying to be obnoxious? You just full on like came up and did that. So what are we going to do for dinner? I was going to have top ramen. <laughs> Because I don't want to cook. No one's home. Abby's not home. Kaylee's in bed still. Oh, well, that's clean. Chelsea, dude, it's dark. We gotta get our daughter home. Well, she probably went in. If you want to walk down there and go get her, I'll take out the trash. And then go get her. Are you asking me to go get her? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> you just witnessed an exact conversation that frustrates me so bad. I. You guys know I just asked him to go and get Chelsea. I've got a cold. Okay. All right, you guys. We're kind of just taking it easy. Ashley's watching the last of her movie as movie night. Yes. And I'm gonna go put my oh. I'm gonna go put pajamas on. 
Um, we still have to go pick up Abby tonight. But I'm gonna hope that Jason will go get her because I went and got her last night. It's his turn. See if the man cold can handle going to get her anyway. I know he's sick. I'm making fun of him a lot, but moms have to do a lot when they get a mom cold. So I think he's gotten a lot of time to rest and relax and it's good for him, but just about got undressed with my window wide open. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody gonna see that. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Jason just checked. Whoa, hang on. There we go. Jason just checked on Kaylee like 20 minutes ago. And she is out cold. It is what, maybe 6.30? And she'll probably wake up around 11 and then be up for a couple hours. It's just teenage life. They're just extra tired and you know, doing too much and whatnot. So, can't blame her for being tired. Abby's gonna be exhausted tomorrow, so I'm hoping they will all sleep in and rest, relax, get their chores done, have an easy Saturday. I'm ahead on my laundry, so I don't have as much to do tomorrow. I've already done half the kids' clothes, and I'm gonna keep teaching Kaylee and Abby how to do theirs. I will put away those Halloween decorations tomorrow, though, because that's really lame that I had them out all day today and didn't put them away, so. <laughs> anyway, have a good night. I wish Jason was feeling better to end tonight, but he just doesn't feel like talking and, you know, carrying on, so. Take care, guys. See you later.